the year it's always amazing coming to come to us for several reasons there that wasn't our plan originally this morning we were going to go to couple yo's and walk this way to poppies first cast on a mackerel bait uh, um, Valdu got a nice pull there and it dropped him about six meters in the run it dropped him which could be a bronze it could be a cob it could be who knows All right but it's a nice mackerel bait with, with chalk on and then I put a, a mullet head with fillets and then covered it with octopus a bit that I beat a bit and put it in the back the championship eight I really I bought the six a month ago really enjoy it from a casting and fishability point of view really nice and so we're trying that so yeah um Baldur's already tied a little pop bait he's having a throw there with uh chocker and i might join him just now to uh throw a little octopus leg and see if we can get a cob just one of these smaller cobs will pick up the baits um and we might even look for a for some mullet and throw some live mullet as soon as uh the tides push them in here they're in the back there or maybe i must first throw the net and have a look for a mullet is there something oh ha, ha, there's fish. That's always nice to see with the mullet moving into the estuary. It's been open for quite some time and uh, just deep enough for fish to move in and out, which is quite nice. On a height, it was shoulder height early next last week. It has gone a bit shallower that you can get through ankle deep. And I see it's filled up with sand. It's all sanded up right here as well. So yeah, obviously these, uh, these fish are trying to get back to the ocean. We're two hours before high. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see now when we get there what the sand situation is like. But quite a bit of mullet here. This is just something very basic I've seen a couple of guys uh, doing wrong and 
that's why you almost lose your rod in some cases they lose their rods this must show away from the sea the V because it digs into the sand then and helps for this not to bend or pop out if you put it like this it's not enough resistance so it can pull it pull, pop out like that and your rod's gone so always when you put it down the triangle or the tip should face the sea the opening away from the sea Well, apart from Sunday after the comp that we can have a throw so we quickly and Enrico Adam joined me he immediately got himself a nice mullet in the river there and put a live mullet out which would be best and then yeah I'm just making a nice mullet bait I want to get a bit of distance and get it to that bank and see what what teeth surround or whatever might eat this then I put some fillets around it now Tiga, power power gear, and I put a mullet, a little bit of back row on there, but a mullet head with mullet fillet. Let's put it on that back bank and see if we can get some teeth on it. Water's clean, but I 
add a little bit of filler there and I'm gonna put it back on that bit more to the right. I have to get it on. Tight's turning now. This combination, the Jaybrae 20 pound, 14,000 MQ, and I've got it on a on the championship six. Hey, what a combo! What a nice setup. over the bank here in that little gutter there's another it's a double double bank the gutter with the bank at the back so it's just before the back if I, if I noted it well I could see it correctly maybe and uh, hopefully we get a nice poppy in there small mullet this is on the five to seven ounce and uh, then I'll put one on the heavier rod a bigger mullet just now as well and interest there busy on the fish but I think my sinker was stuck so much that the fish dropped it because of it I just released the sinker now but I think that fish is gone probably a carry all the scales or that's why it dropped it sign all the scales off Taking all the scales off. You see?
armadillo on with red bait, a bit of a combo and a bigger hook. Hoping for a cracker. It's a, it's a Daniel's cracker spot. He's got a few. Most of them is his cracker losing spot. This is his cracker catching spot. Pretty fish, eh? A national fish, how you named after the, the galleon? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. That's for the club. We've got a little bit of a race going to the club. So every fish we can measure, we measure. Nice little blackmail. 